Yo, what's up, everybody? Um, I'm gonna show you one of the most annoying things. Utterly annoying. Ridiculously annoying. Fucking annoying things about Mac, which is their Windows management. Um, so, if you ever run into this, which I did again this morning, it is just absolutely aggravating. Um, I had this window for Premiere Pro on my large monitor that's on top of my, um, above my MacBook Pro, and I drag it, drag it down uh, to work on it on the, uh, on this monitor, uh, on, on my computer, and guess what? But um, the, like I drug it down just enough to get it on here, and of course, there's no menu bar. I can't click it to like expand it and I can't access like, so now it's like way too big. Um, and so I'll show you how to fix this. It's absolutely aggravating. And basically, you know, you can't drag it. Um, you can you can access this little, you know, you can expand it more, but it's still like off the screen, you know? Um, so I'm gonna show you how to fix this. So um, there's a couple different scenarios here, which I'm gonna show you. First one is this scenario where it's like partially off the screen. Can't set access the menu bar because uh, it's hidden hidden by the, like the application bar because it's hidden by the menu bar. Um, so what you can do is you move over the edge and I'm running Big Sur. This is, I think, been a feature for a while though, um, where you, you, if you have an edge of your window that you can access, you hover over it till you get that little, um, you know, adjustment icon and you pull it down, um, up and down. So you might have to pull it up and pull it down a little bit, but basically if you're you know, on the edge, left and right edge, then you pull it up and down and you can now you know, move it up and down so that you can access this and then you just double click on the, the application top bar, if you will, um, to uh, properly size it. You can also hit the, uh, you know, the plus icon. Um, that'll do the same thing. Now, if you have, um, if it's like off, let me drag it up here and make it smaller. Here, hold on a second. Let me make it smaller. Now, this scenario, let's say, hold on, let me see if I can get it. Okay, so this this scenario, it's on it's on this like monitor, right? But actually, that this isn't a good example, hold on, because you still got a side over here. Um, let me see. Hmm. So interestingly enough, um, so if you, if you, uh, yeah, there you go. So if you can get the, if you're on the side, you can go up and down. So if you're on the side, you can go up and down. If you're on the bottom, you can go left and right. It kind of doesn't work like a hundred percent. You just kind of got to jiggle it, I think, um, to get it to go. But now I've got the whole window. Um, now in a scenario, let's say where I'm dragging the window down. Let me see if I can get this going here. Where I've dragged the window down, it's just way too big, right? Cause I've got like a way bigger monitor, right? Um, and now I don't have any side access. There, There's no sides, but it's still on this display, right? And you're like, the fuck is going on here, you know? Now the trick here is the application bar is still on this monitor. It's just being covered up by the menu bar. So in order to reveal that, we go to uh, System Preferences, click um, Dock and Menu Bar, and then hit Automatically Hide and Show Menu Bar. That will show um, the, it'll hide the, the menu bar. So now our, our application top bar is visible. Now we can just double click on that and it'll shrink the window to fit our display and then we can move it around or whatever. Um, and again, double click on it and it'll come back. So basically, again, just to recap, and then of course you can just turn the menu bar to be not hidden, you know, visible all the time, uh, just to get it back to being um, the way it would normally be. Um, now, if I think those are pretty much the main scenarios where I, I haven't really had it, I can't remember, but I'm sure there's been a scenario where the top bar has been completely inaccessible. But again, then, then you can, you know, use a side. Um, and drag it, um, or a bottom, and drag it left and right. So side, up and down, bottom, left and right. Um, so yeah, again, I hope that helps. Um, <laughs> again, in this scenario, let's drag it down. Mm, drag it down. It's gotta know that, um, 
Yeah, it's almost like you gotta use small little movements. Because it doesn't... It doesn't, you know, I'm, I'm doing it, there you go. You know, it, it doesn't work super consistently, but it does work. So now that it's visible, boom, there we go. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps y'all. Um, again, one of the most fucking annoying problems <laughs> with Macs. I, I like Macs in general. I like Windows too, I like Linux, I like all of it. Um, and also equally hate all of them too, because they have their own quirks like this, which honestly in my mind is, is a bug that they just haven't fixed. Um, I think uh, Macs, even though I use them most, annoy me the most just because they pretend like they don't have problems, but they clearly have mad problems like this. Something so basic like this is just like infuriating. Um, so yeah, and you can accidentally do it just by like that. You know, now it's now it's off, but luckily I've got a side here and I can kind of jiggle it. Come on, jiggle. <laughs> there we go. Um, and now it, uh, now I can get it back. So, uh, yeah, hope that helps. Uh, again, this is Mike, uh, from Lycan, uh, with a little quick, uh, quick tip. So, uh, see you in the next video.